It can be family member, tribal friend. It can be any kind of friend that is befriending you to destroy you. They are called frenemy. Number nine. It's called enemies behind the scene. Look, chapter 11, verse 4. These are enemies that are actually using you to deal with you. They put your life on pause. Let's read it. Let's start from verse 1. I see somebody. And it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place. When he ceased, one of the disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us how to pray. I'll get that scripture. The Bible says he was praying for a deaf man who was possessed with the spirit of dumbness. And it wasn't the man that was possessed with the spirit of dumbness, but it was actually the spirit that made the man to be dumb. I pray for somebody here. Look verse 14. Verse 14. Let me read it for you. Verse 14. 14. Are you ready? Am I blessing you? Luke 11, 14. Let's read that and then we're going to. And he was casting out a devil and it was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out that the dumb spake and the people wondered who was dumb? Who was dumb? Not the man. It was the devil that was dumb. But living in a man that can speak. Put it again. Put the scripture again. And he was casting out a devil. And it was dumb. The man was not dumb. It was the devil that was dumb. But the devil was not living in a man that can speak. And then put the man's speech on pause. And the man was leaving him. So he was an enemy behind the scene. Some of you are intelligent. But he's a demon of illiteracy. That is inside you. Pursing your efficiency and capacity. Some of you are rich. But a demon of poverty has suspended you. And is leaving you. Then what Jesus did, Jesus did not pray for the man. He removed the demon of dumbness. When the demon came out, the capacity of the man was expressed. Some of you, something have to leave you for you to resume you. Anything that has put your life on pause, I cast it out. I don't like the way they are shouting. I cast it out. If that amen is louder, somebody is taking over. Anything controlling your life, anything controlling your destiny, in the name of Jesus, that thing is under attack right now. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Today, some of you have been suspended for 20 years. You are not the one talking. You are not the one doing the things you are doing. It's one demon taking over. That demon today, I command the demon to let you be. Today, I pray you, begin to activate you in the name of Jesus. I activate your intelligence. I activate your capacity. I activate your ability. I activate what God has put in you. If that amen is louder, somebody is taking over. Sit down. Matthew 13, verse 24. Let's start. Matthew 13, verse 24. Follow me. Matthew 13, 24. Another parable. He put, he fought unto them, saying, 
the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. The kingdom of heaven is likened. For those of you who did English, you know, anytime you see like, it means there is a comparison, it's a simile, saying that this is a type. So you, Jesus was likening the kingdom of heaven to a man. To a man. Lagosiata. Am I talking here? Jesus likened the kingdom of heaven to a man. Some of you don't understand. You don't know that you are carrying heaven inside you. Am I talking to somebody here? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I prophesy you will begin to experience heaven on earth. The way you are shouting that amen is looking for my trouble. If that amen is louder, somebody is coming over to take over. I prophesy in less than 48 hours, somebody is taking over. Shut fire. The louder the fire, somebody is taking over to control, to prevail, to be in charge. is lacking unto a man. A man. A man. Not to an angel. You are too important. Jesus in his parable didn't compare the kingdom of heaven to angels. To a man. That's why you don't play with the gift of a man. Some of you want to go to heaven and you think that when you get to heaven, you will meet people like us there. Abusing people on earth in the name of spirituality to go to heaven and finally meet them in heaven while you are in hell is one of the catastrophe and the wonders to come. Preaching holiness, running everybody down and eventually the people you call satanists, you meet them in heaven and you that call yourself angel, you are burning in fire. You will understand the wonders of heaven. Now he said, the man had seeds. Bring me. Say he had seeds. And he called the seed good seed. Every Listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to listen to this message. Every one of you, you are a good seed. Every one of you also have seed. Now, thank you. Give me the seed. Thank you, it's okay. This is seed. And the Bible said, this seed is a good seed. The seed is a good seed. Not a bad seed. Anytime you see somebody's life not producing, it's not in the hands of the maker. Every one of you, what is seed? What you are thinking now. There is none of you here that never have a good thought to plan about your future. The thoughts that you have are seeds. Plans. Goals. Future pursuits. All are good seeds. There is nothing you ever desire that you will say they are not seeds. Now listen to me. And the Bible called the seed a good seed. There's none of you here that is seated here that has, if you are in your normal sense, that will ever desire evil to happen to you. So it means your plan, your future pursuits, everything are good. 
But hear me very, very well. Your seed needed to be supported with a good soil. I have discovered that 90% of the reason why some crops do well in other land and others don't do well in other land, it is the, it's the soil. Someone say soil. Say soil. Soil. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a grand. You are a grand. God made you out of dust. And hear me. I can tell you. I can tell you. After this message, you will ask yourself whether you are a good grand. Because there is nothing the seed can do if the grand is not supporting the seed. Every grand does not carry the capacity to grow seeds. There are grounds that you put seed and the seed will not grow. They are called stony ground. There are types of soil, you know what I'm talking about. And there are soil that cannot grow a seed. And the question is, what kind of a soil are you? Because no matter the prophecy we give, if you are not a good grand, your prophecy cannot come to pass. There are seven reasons why a soil or a grand might not be a good grand. Number one, if the grand had lost its macro and micronutrient due to bush burning, you know there is a way a ground can lose its fertility, its capacity. That ground might not be able. That means that that ground had been abused. Some of you, the reason why your ground can produce, your ground had been abused. Some people have set your life on fire. They have burned down your capacity, your faith, your ability, your potential, and your structure to support your prophecy, to support your process. Some of you here, you started every word you receive, you run with it. But after some people abuse your life, your grand is zero grand. Nothing we ever say moves you. If we preach, it doesn't move you. You receive prophecy. You are the one. There are antibodies in your body that fight prophecies. Number two, rocky soil. Soils that are very stony. There are some of you, your heart is too stubborn. Nothing they will ever, you know, they move you. Rocky soil. <laughs> Number three, some grounds. Are carried by the erosion of life. <laughs> there are there are soils. <laughs> if rain and water is passing through there, it washes up. There is no way you can plant a seed and the seed stay. You can even be a good grand, but you don't have a root. Any storm of life and ocean and erosion of life washes you as a topsoil. even leave it at that. Real farmers knows what it takes to till the ground. You don't just go to the ground and begin to throw your seeds. You do what? You till. And tilling the ground is breaking down the hard soil in order to get to the soft soil. So that the soil, because at the top, the soil might look hard. But when you use for the house, I used to farm very well. I know how to use the garma very well. When you break down the hard soil, you break, you break, you break down the hard soil. You are helping the hard soil to give way to the real soil. Listen to me. Some of you here watching me, listen to me. You are a fighter grand, but you have refused to break yourself. 
You have refused to allow the hard part of your life to be broken down by the armor of the world so that we can get to the heart where you can open. Listen to me. Sit. Don't stay at the surface. There must be the excavation of the top soil for seeds to be buried. There are certain things that cannot work at the surface. Meaning that, meaning that in agriculture, agra and culture agra means land and culture so you must understand if i don't break your land i cannot culture your seed and you must understand that the breaking of the ground is allowing yourself to break down for a breakthrough sometime whenever you are crying it might be that god is trying to break your hard ground so that there can be potential seed whenever you are down it can be that god is trying to break your hard ground Every time there is a seed in the hands of the farmer, he cannot plant the seed until he breaks the ground. Listen to me. If I take this seed and I put on the surface, what you are saying, this seed has not been buried. Because it has not been buried, it will not make any sense. Problem with most of you, you don't want to be buried, but you want to germinate. You don't want to be buried, but you want to grow. The way to grow is to first go underground. You come to an organization, you want to be at the surface. That's why you don't have roots. Sometimes, don't let anybody see you. Go down and generate roots. So that by the time you are springing forth, when they see you come out, they are talking about you coming out, but they don't know that you have generated roots. I am tired of microwave Christianity without root. People that are rootless, people that are rootless and want to produce fruit. People that don't understand that years are put in for you to arrive to where you are. I started preaching at the age of 18. By this, by this November, it will be 26 years of church work and 30 years of being a preacher. But I've seen some younger generation, two years, three months, correcting people that have been there for 30 years. You don't understand life. You are ruthless and you don't understand what it means to gain ground. Do this for 30 years and still be shouting the way I'm shouting. Do this for 30 years and still be full of energy. Do this for 30 years and your passion does not drop every Sunday. That your fire does not drop every Sunday. Then you can stand to talk with me. The word is a seed when planted and watered grows to be great. Hey, you can be anything you want, you can achieve all your dreams if you all believe. Hey, the word of God is here today and is walking inside of you. Do you believe it? That's your receive. In a world where the season centered, this is your season. It's time to shine again. Hey, in a world where the season centered, hey, this is your season. It's time to shine.
becomes what it wants to become. By trophies. No. Some of you who want to produce, but you have not gone underground. You don't want to be buried. You don't want to be buried because you're afraid. You are afraid. Even Jesus want for him to rise up as an harvest of the first fruit was buried for three days. Tell me, show me your burial. Then I can show you your resurrection. Show me how you entered the earth. Then I can show you your harvest. There are too many farmers looking for harvest and there is no seed. There is nothing in their hands. They have not gone down. They have not gone down. Because the method of going down, it is very devastating to the seed. Watch this. This is the seed. And there is a need for this seed. Hear me. Hear me. Listen to me. You are the one that will plan and plant your destiny. I take the seed. I put and I cover. Watch this. You are not seeing any seed here. But the seed is inside. They are watching you right now. They are not seeing any sign. It doesn't mean you are not planted. There is no sign of success. But one thing that is important. Your seed had been planted. Ah, don't waste it. Plant it. Don't waste it. Plant it. Don't waste it. Plant it. Don't waste. Let them say what they want to say. I am under. I'm covered. And because I'm covered, nobody sees me. Nobody knows me. Nobody has evaluated me. Nobody knows my potential, my capacity, my ability, my future, my futuristic kappa. And they look at me. They said, he's gone. It is over. No, 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 no. It does so in tears. Shall reap in joy. Ah, I don't mind what you say. I've gone on the ground. Sometimes there is the silent part of your life when nobody sees you to be significant. Go on the ground and generate root. Life is not about competition. Life is about being planted to speak a particular sentence. Listen to me. Listen to me. All the young men we started at the same time, some of them are nowhere to be found because when they were talking, I was planting and planning. I was not the most vocal among my contemporaries. I was not ambitious. I didn't want to be a preacher. I only wanted to be a soldier. End up to be a vicar in the Protestant church. And that's all. Every one of them were running faster. When I went to depot, started training and my elder sister pulled me out for my elder brother I got back home crying from Zaria to Joss and I started planning my life and I start saying to myself if I want if there's a call on my head I have to plan my future so I started planting seed, studying the Bible, chewing the word. It was not about manifestation. It was about depestation. Go deeper. Go inside. I go on the ground. Premature manifestation is premature death. Too many young men, young women, speaking with two sides of their mouth, who have not gotten experience about life, battle about life, challenge about life, who have not seen anything yet. of church work in Ibadan. And I came to Abuja. And we started. Nobody knew me. In fact, 
my relevance started after seven years. Everybody began to say, Where's Ingela? Where's Ingela? Where's Ingela? Where's Ingela? That was at 17th year of being a pastor. That's when people start knowing. Now, watch this. When they start hearing about me, they say, Where did he come from? That's it. When you get roots and you are balanced like a Chinese bamboo tree, your growth looks magical to spectators. Because they feel it's an overnight thing. They feel it's an overnight thing because you went on the ground. Because no, hear me, the seed does not come at the surface to check the temperature if it wants to grow. Some of you have been planted, but you have de uprooted yourself. You came out because the pressure where you were condensed was so much, you wanted to get fresh air. You deplanted and uprooted yourself. You got fresh air and you got back. That's the reason for the rise and fall. Job said, all the days of my life, I will wait until my change comes. Hello? Hello? Is the seed there? Is it a good seed? Is it there? If the seed is a good seed and is on a good ground, it doesn't need prayer. If the seed is a good, listen to me, brethren. Every location is not your location. There is a ground where God brings you, where you prosper. Where you, where you go forward. Abraham, leave your kindred, your father and mother to a land that will show you. Every one of you have your land. When you get to your land, you might not be having the kind of magical growth, but if it is supporting your structure, stay there. I was in some water. Not in work. Stayed in Yalaji house. Moses was with me there. You know what I'm saying. We stayed there, used the house. Use the house for church. And when I look at young men, you are looking for somebody to help you. My father was a little bit okay to feed me, and my mother was okay to feed me. But I told myself, I told you what my mother did. Thank God for him, for her. The God keep her where she has gone to. Listen to me. She put me under pressure. That when I hear the voice of my mother, I can't go back home. Some of you, you are, too, you are still fighting with your younger brother on which food is bigger than which food. Sheer. Mama, you, uh, you, you put my younger brother food. My meat was supposed to be three. When destiny deal with you, you will understand the difference between Babu and Akwe. Am I, am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Fight your life. Go on the ground. Pay the price. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. When a seed is planted, there is a season for it. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Let me show you something here. There is a time and season for heaven. Everything there is a season and time to every purpose under the heaven. Everything. Everything. Money. Car. Friend. This is what I knew from the beginning of my life. There are seasonal friends. There are friends that will enter your life for a season. When they have finished their assignment, they check out. If you force them, they will damage you. There are members for a season. Yes. Yes. 26 years of pastoral work. Four years of ministry. I have seen members change church like clothes. Don't threaten me with your attendance. I 
have seen people come and say, I die here. When their season was over, they fought me, they left. Some withdraw, and another phase of people come. And I've never, listen, they, you, let's, let me tell you something. If you want to see a maturity, look for a pastor who have pastored 20 years above. You will, they will tell you what it means to handle members. You see, face that come in. After some time, they check out. Another face comes in. No matter the church structure, no matter the church building, no matter the believer's class, when it is season for that members to go, they go. They go. Little thing like argument with Usher, take them away. Their season with you is over. If you fall, hey, I don't have an emotional attachment to anybody. I love everybody, but I'm not emotionally attached. No, I don't do that. Because emotional investment on people can be damaging when they leave you. I love everybody, but I always tell myself, at any time they can leave. Are you trying to say that there can be change? Yeah, go. Any pastor who tells you that the people he started with, that it is all of them that are with him, is a liar. Some of you here are members of another pastor that came here. And some of my members have become members of another pastor. That's why I tell pastors, don't kill yourself over membership. Because they that must go, must go. And they that must come, must come. Can I teach here? And this is how it is in friendship. Some people will come to your life to be friends. You will call yourself every hour, every second. The day fight starts. You will think that this morning, I'm in the cause quarter. The season and the time for that friendship is over. If you try to fix it, another big problem will come. If you try again, it come. Let it be. I pray I will be able to finish this message. Am I? Am I too deep? Is it too high? Is, is, is it too high? Seasons and time. Learn to understand seasons and times. Hey, 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 hey. Don't kill yourself. There was a time in my life I couldn't buy a cover shoe for myself. I was on palm sandals. There was a time in my life I couldn't change suits. Hear me. There are seasons and time. Give everything to time and season. Certain things will change overnight. Am I helping somebody here? Give time. I, I'm telling you, allow time to fly. You will soon see what is your prayer point today will become your playing point tomorrow. You are not getting me. You are not getting me. There was a time I was praying to have car just car and the car was looking for was just a one door car one door car and the holy ghost told me he said i will bless you you become a blessing to others and the holy ghost laughed he said wait i'm doing something for you i never understood what it meant to me but now i now understand that hear me certain things that are your prayer point are tied to time and season. Hello? When mango season come, you see mango everywhere. <laughs> when it is season for corn, you see corn everywhere. When it is orange season, you see orange everywhere. Ah, am I talking here? When it is dry season, you call it Amatan. You see everywhere dry. When the rain time come, Amatan give way and the rain begin to rain. Ah, when it is the time for the moon to come out, the moon comes out and balance itself in the sky and shine in the middle of darkness. When the day 
sky breaks and the sun takes over, the moon hides itself and the sun stays in the atmospheric condition of life and say, this is my time. Listen to me. Nobody is better than you. It is time and season and chance that happened to them all. Wait for your time and your season. It will be magical when your time and season comes. from I am that I am who reigns forever no man reigns forever can I go forward now this is what most spiritual father most great men don't know nobody reigns forever you reign you ancient Zion King Kadosh Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Sing you, you reign, you reign, you reign. Yon tree, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Let me talk. Am I taking your time? Am I deep? No man reigns forever. No man has all the season to himself. Because there's a season to cry. A season to laugh. A season to plant. And a season to block. The only one who has seasons to himself. He got time and season. They live inside him. Is Jehovah. Do you know why? No man have seasons and time. Yes. There comes a time in this country. We had a man called Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. He had his seasons and time. He ruled. Gawan had his seasons and time. He ruled. Obasanjo had the season. And time he ruled. Jonathan Ebele had the seasons and time he ruled. Muhammad Buhari, His Excellency, is having now his seasons and his time. He's ruling. And after some time, his season and time will be over for another season to come. Ladies and gentlemen, there came a time, there was a time, a man called Apostle Ayo Babalola had the season and time. He was a apostle of his time. John Wesley had his season and time. He was an apostle of his time. Maria Huto Eta had a season and time. Kendrick Kuma had a season and time. She flowed in the healing, in the prophetic. Kenneth Hagen had his season and time. Late Bishop, had Bishop Benson in the Husa, had his season and time. When it was time, the season was over. If you are a father of faith, this is your season and time. Watch what you do because your season will soon be over. Hello? You can still be alive and your season and time is over. This is what people don't understand. When God finish with you. That's why you hear people say the man of God was raining. And all of a sudden, he's no longer raining. He has gotten to the achilum, the peak of his career and calling. So God look for another young man. And this is why most fathers should be careful of how they trample younger generation. Because God might be making them do things in their season and time. And you are saying, what is this they are doing? In your own time, that was how people were saying, what are you doing? Every season and time, as it moves, his methodology, his catch, and his cruise, and the fire, and the vibes, and the culture, and the atmosphere. Never you fight a man.
man in his season. Emi koleche, emi mani oluwa o. Emi koleche, emi mani oluwa o. Baba mi loje, oloru agbalaba. Baba mi loje, oloru agba oye. Emi koleche, emi mani oluwa o. result of a registry because they belong to the royal family. They don't have season and time all their life. When their season and time is over, in Yoruba, he has gone. Another person come again to take over. Be careful. Nobody makes it and rule forever. Watch this. The seed is down. Put verse 25. Let me rush it. Verse 25. Look at what the Bible says. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed thirst among the wheat and went his way. Let me show you something. Moses, come and plant this. In. Plant it. Take the hole too. Put, just put the seed inside. Please show him why you divide this ground. When he went to sleep, just listen to me. There's always going to be a time where you go to sleep. When was this seed planted? The wheat was planted today. The same day in the night, the enemy came to plant the same day. Not, not five days later. So God told me, anytime a destiny is born for good, another destiny is born for evil. Every good seed attracts bad seed. Put it, put it. He has planted it. Watch it. He has covered it. Thank you. You can go back. Then, you did not see the enemy, but he came. The fact that you did not see them when they were trying to alter your destiny, it never meant mean that it never happened. It happened. Every one of you, the day you started growing in the womb of your mother, something was planted in another womb to grow against you. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Something was planted to every one of you have potential enemy growing with your potential growth. The greatest enemy of a man is not a demon, it's a system. Some of you, what you are fighting, you are not fighting demons, you are fighting systems. Something that have been planted that have been put in place. The day you enter that office, the secretary has warned the other worker, be careful of that lady. Everybody has seen you as an enemy. Something was planted. Somebody is looking at you and they are already gossiping. You never said anything. You never did anything. You are a good seed and they cannot stop your seed, but they planted something next. Every one of you have a destiny CID, DSS, police inspector, inspecting your life in order to destroy your seed. Hello? Hello? The farmer wakes up in the morning. The land is beautiful. Hello? Nothing is seen. The seed is there. Do you think he discovered that something was planted? No! He did not discover anything. The land is fresh. 
Wow! My company is beautiful. Wow! My marriage is sweet. Wow! My ministry is blossoming. Wow! Everything is wonderful. Watch this. He started making sure that everything is going well. Brethren, when the rain falls, it falls on both the good seed and the bad seed. The water that came to water you was also watering the enemy that is set to fight your life. Most of you, you are put <laughs> gardeners around your garden. But the gardener in your garden is also guiding your enemy. Most of you have watered the person fighting you. I'm not surprised the person that took your money, ate your food, drove the car you gave him, is the one running you down. He's not saying, what have you done? It is true. It is true. You gave them the petrol they are using to fight you. The money they are using to make cars, to plot against you, came from you. Hello. The money they used to go to a Dibia, you gave them the money. But do you know something? Don't stop being a good seed. Because a good seed is a good seed. A good seed is a good any place you see good, bad is next to it. Hello? Can I talk? Because some of you are saying, with all my good, why are they pay me back with evil? Why will they not pay you back? Because any place that is a seed of destiny, there is a seed of destruction. Trying to fight. Can I go further? Is it sinking? Your enemy is close to you like the clothes you put on. You don't know. If wickedness used to smell like bad odor, some of you would have seen the intestines of your enemy. They romance you, but they are plotting your fall. Seed. I had some of some people. I said, "What? Some of the people that have been beneficiary of this ministry." I asked them a few questions, and I said, "If you said you help us, what brought you? You saw a good seed. It was the seed. Anybody." Who has a calculation to betray you came because they have something to benefit. Whenever you are given a platform to swell and grow, never you say you are the one making it to happen. The platform is making it to happen for you. I'm tired of a generation that want to be great, but they abuse greatness. I had given somebody two cars. One day I was driving back. I saw him trekking, and I was worried. So I park and wind up. And I said to him, I've given you the first car and the second car. They're all good clean cars. What happened to the second one? Let's forget about the first one. He smiled. He said, I sold it. And I said, what did you do with the money? 
I said, Papa, it's a long story. And I, it just dawned on me that no matter how you honor some people, they will choose the path to be dishonored. And I said to him, I knew you were a businessman. I gave you the car so that when you are submitting your proposals, it will be part of your package and branding to present you. Now, nobody will take you serious. When you drop from bike and you are carrying a, you are looking for a contract of billions, it doesn't tell well of you. How many of you have we empowered here to start business? We gave you a dryer, a sewing machine, and everything. You sold all! And you are complaining against the oil. The reason, the reason is that you are the enemy of your future. Church is quiet now. You rather choose to beg than to use what they gave you to go up to your next destiny. You are saying, since I'm in this church, what has God done? You can see, you will not remember what God has done. The one who gave you know what he has done. Church is quiet now. Church is quiet now. When you abuse your husband, since you marry me, what have, I, what have you done? What have you done for me? Nye, nye, nye. The clothes you are wearing is one of the things he has done. The phone you are using to abuse him is one of the things he has done. He has done, 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 and he's done, done. Church is getting quiet now. What have you done? Nya, nya, nya. He don't do many things. Things plenty. You ungrateful person when the current situation of your belly make you forget history just because you are hungry today should not make you forget your husband has been feeding you for the past 10 years church ah. is quiet Church is quiet. Church is quiet. Nya, 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 nya. Hey, look at other people, husband. What they are doing. You are gongo me. You are gongo me. Hey, you call your husband gongo me. You too gongo me, wife. Marry gongo me, husband. Should I go forward? Okay. Put the next verse. Verse what? 26, isn't it? Let's read it together. Uh -huh. But when... No, let's read 25. So that you can understand. 25. But why men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat. And went his way. The word tears there is unwanted plant, what we call weeds. W e e d s, with a crop, weeds, unwanted plant. These plants are not crops. They are not edible. They are not eatable. They are, they are, their assignment is to compete the macro and micronutrient that the real crop is having in order to dwarf the growth of the real crop and in order to stop the growth of the real crop. And so, go to verse 26. 26 quickly. But when the plague was sprung up, he brought forth fruit. Then appeared the tears also. So immediately after some weeks or months, the crop start growing. But as the crop was growing, 
the weeds, the unwanted plant, were growing together because they were planted the same day. It was the timing in the same day that was different. Their growth was similar. And they were just growing next to each other. Every of your growth, there is a monetary spirit next to you, planted next to you, to compete close to you. And I will, I will show you something. They were growing together. And immediately, the servants cried out, Master, Farmer, something is wrong. Did we not plant good seed? But how comes the fear is growing with the wheat? And hear what the servants say. Let's pull it. Let's pull it. Let's destroy it quickly. Master say, when you read through, no, 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 no. We are not going to pull it. And something dawned on me. What is in the heart of the enemy? This is it. What was in the heart of the enemy was to provoke the farmer to take urgent decisions. And this urgent decision is going to destroy the real ones. Because <laughs> as the master farmer, Jesus knew, there is an entanglement of the roots with each other. If, 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 if they can help me in the council to show me roots that are entangled, that means this crop is growing unwanted plant is growing and their root under are entangling with each other. So you can go on the unwanted plant as you are pulling the plant, you are pulling the weeds. Some of you need to be patient. There are enemies you don't fight. Time will fight them. There are enemies if you fight them the way they want you to fight them. You are going to fight the innocent along with them. There come a time in your life you can't even know who is true and who is not true. Because they have been entangled. Some of you here, your problem is not that you are not good. You have missed up with some Judas. You don't carry their seed, but their root has mixed up with your root. And sometimes, in trying to uproot the unwanted, we have uprooted the righteous. I learned this thing when we were in Ibadan. When we were in Ibadan, our church was just 35, 40. A brother was busy corrupting the true members. He was saying rubbish. And the things he was saying were lies. You know, we have people like that who enter organization and they scatter. They just import story, cook the story, and when they are saying it, they say it as if it is true. So I decided to punish him. I called him out in the church. I gave him back seat. So you've been saying this, that, and that, and that. And then... We close the service. The next Sunday, the church dropped down to 11. And I was saying, God, but what I did is right. And the Lord said, you didn't consult me. It was not time to issue that kind of punishment. When you 
see pastors sometimes they see things and they remove their eye. Ah, experience Matikowa. There are people you will punish and they will take 20 people that are righteous out. But if you allow time, time will deal with them. The people that will chase them away is not even you. It is the people they are manipulating. Church is quiet. Somebody was causing confusion when our church was growing. I just say, Father, I know you are a father of love. I commit him into your hands. That was all. He now went and deal with some few, few people in the church that don't used to forgive easily. They now arrested him. When they arrested him, I did not know. They arrested him. They dealt with him in police station very, very well. They now paid the DPO to beat him very, very well. Was now in the detention. None to call you. Papa. He said, I'll talk to them. My mouth don't swallow off. <laughs> he said, It should be your, 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 your son. Your son. You have almost finished me. Papa. If you save me, I will never speak against anybody. <laughs> And now, so who are the people that who are the people that arrested you? He said, ah, they are my friends, but they have turned to my enemy. <laughs> so he mentioned them. It was his, the same group that are supporting him that arrested him. I said, thank you, Lord. Oh, well. And I called them. They now came. They said, Papa, that one should not be in this church. I said, cool down, cool down. He said, leave us. We are going to deal with him. He will apologize to God and the devil. <laughs> but do you know, as I help him come out, he became very quiet. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are talking until when a Mopo police slap you. When you see Mopo coming from afar, now you they arrange yourself humble. If they do like say you day class where they say they will write noise maker. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for this one hearing the sound of my voice. The enemies around your life, I scatter them by fire. Let me begin to round up. Sit down. Let me begin to round up. The Bible said, Jesus said to them, Allah. Tears and the wheat to grow until the day of harvest. Listen to me. Your enemies have their day of harvest, and you too have your day of harvest. Listen to me. Anytime joyful thing is happening in your life, something sorrowful is happening in the enemy's life. Because every time you reap your harvest, they reap their own harvest. Can I say this to you? One of the beautiful things I saw in this story is that the fears with unwanted plant could not change the originality of the wheat. The wheat was still good despite the fact it was in the midst of the enemies. The growth never was not stunted. The growth was solid. They can come around you. They can change your originality. They can change your growth. They can deduce from you. They can surround you all about, but they will not take your integrity. They are trying to corrupt your capacity, but they cannot corrupt it. Because the reason why Jesus told, the, why the master told the servant, allow it till the day of the others, is because the seed was good before it was planted. The seed was planted, and the master was in charge. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, the capacity of your destiny cannot be thwarted.
<laughs> the seed grew, it became a wheat, and on the day of harvest, it was clear that this is wheat and this is wheat. This is the fair and this is the width. And with all that, the investors were able to differentiate. No matter how people pretend to be you, no matter how they try to destroy you, there's going to be a time where time will separate them from you. Don't try to vindicate yourself in all things. We always say the truth. Time is the revealer of truth. Your destiny will answer them. Let them say whatever they want to say. Some people think that with what they are planted all over your life, that you are not supposed to be what you are. They don't understand. Guide me, chingong me all around. You can't stop my seed. The glory of the seed is not in the surrounding. It is in the seed itself. If you cannot plant what you planted around my soil, inside my seed, you can't change my DNA. Let them run you down. Run your name down. Abuse you. But they can't stop who you are. You are a seed of destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm rounding up, can I say this? Wisdom of waiting in life is the greatest wisdom. I came to this city. I'm running up in five minutes with a traveling bag. I knew nobody. No connection. know what it means to wait. Don't be in a hurry. First, it must be seed. Second, it must be wheat. Third, it becomes bread. These three seasons you can't bypass any of them. Don't eat your seed before it becomes wheat. Don't eat your wheat before it becomes bread. If the seed has not become wheat, it doesn't mean it will not become. Every seed has the capacity to become wheat and from wheat process to become bread. Wait. There is blessing and wisdom in waiting. I don't know what they call car till I entered Kubwa. I traveled with my evangelist briefcase everywhere. I carried my big Bible. If you look at my Bible, it's an old Bible. No, I don't have a new one. But this old Bible, remember me of where I'm coming from. It's very old. Anytime I want to study, I carry it. It's very old. It looked, looked very rough. It shows me the roughness of where my battle started. I carry them. There's beauty in waiting. I'm rounding up. You see it? It doesn't look attractive. But it has been very rugged with it. I've waited. The 
is wisdom in waiting. Some of you here, if you see me now, you think it's a product of today. I waited. I waited in fasting. Also, I hit me up. I waited in prayer. I waited. I waited. I waited. We will be doing church in a battle. The rain will fall and move the zinc and break the cement back. And I preached like this. I don't mind waiting. I waited. Went to villages preaching the gospel without collecting offering. I waited. I wasn't moved by the money. The days where my suits, if they can put them there, you've seen the suits, were bad and battered. I waited. I waited. I saw young ones like me becoming very good and great. I didn't have the opportunities they have. I waited. I preached this Bible. Prophesied about the future of this ministry. And five years passed. None of what I prophesied came to pass. I waited. I came to this city. Where 90% of you didn't know me. I couldn't pay my house rent. I waited. I waited. There is wisdom in waiting. I didn't see the real hopes of life. I waited. I trekked from Biaji to across. From across to Kubwa Market, from Kubwa Market to PW, to junctions to Kubwa, to Duse Alaji, to Duse Bokma, to Buari, to Duse Makaranta. I didn't see the rail of hope. I waited. I was a laughing object. Among my contemporaries, I waited. When you see a man that have waited upon the Lord for what he becomes, nothing moves me. I waited. Moses, my son, blessed one. Emeka, the rest of them. Wonderful sons. When I was waiting, couldn't wait for some time. They were also tired of waiting. They left. But I waited. I waited. I waited. They left me almost 10 years. But they came back. When they came back, Sunday, check out. Because he too have not experienced what they experienced. So, when he went to to Nimabera, he now came back. Because, listen to me, I, I don't blame any of them. It's not easy waiting. When you pray, you fast, you do all you do. I am proud of them. They are wonderful sons. L listen to me. Some of you just come and start again. They he stayed with me in uncompleted building. He was with me. I was chased out in the Keja barrack. The night I was chased out, he was the one that met me. I was looking for on that step to sleep. 
me what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not telling you fictions. I'm telling you stories of life. When you see me, nothing moves me. When I see young people talking about challenge of life and they had no story to say, I say you don't know anything. I wasn't born with sliver spoon. I created one. That's why my success doesn't move me. I don't want to be bishop. I don't want to be archbishop. I just want to be a brother. I never knew he will answer me this way. I was just waiting and he ensured that my waiting was not wasted. Listen to me. When you wait, wisdom of waiting, you learn patience. When you learn patience, you learn forgiveness. When you learn forgiveness, you learn maturity. When you learn maturity, you learn how to become great in life. Some people do the things they do to you because they've not seen life. When they see life, they will change the way they do. I'm telling you, are you in a hurry to make it? Hurry! Go and make it. You will soon see what makes an old man running from 18 when he gets to 70 is that going gradually. No matter how fast you are in life, there is a time in life. You move from one leg to two leg to the third leg, supported by walking stick. And if there is no physical walking stick, there will be an invisible walking stick. slow you down. Listen to me. The way you are already running. People who do that end up in grave. Don't worry. Take it cool. You will become what you will become if you are a good seed. Once you are a good seed, you locate your ground. Stay in your ground when the time comes. Your grand will support your seed. Your marriage is your grand. Stay with the man. He might not be rich now. He will soon be rich. He will soon be better. Your job can be your grand. The state, the location, where you are can be your grand. Stay. Enemies of destinies will do nothing only to take you from your grand to another grand. Once you are in the wrong ground, no prayer point can make you grow. Give Jesus mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. What you love. Waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. What you love. Not for ministry, it's 
for you, servant of God. And he repeated it three times. God sent me to you and supported with two brand new cars. I got home and the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, go to your records. And I went to the church records. And I calculated our offerings, tithes, and seeds that were given to me in Ibadan for 10 years. And I discovered it was 10% of what the man gave me one day, one minute. I didn't say 10%. That means nine times the seed was on top of it. God gave me 10 years harvest in one day, under one minute, and seed and added cars to it. It pays. It's not an easy way to travel to heaven. It's not an easy road. It's not an easy road. But here it is. If you wait, if you wait, if you wait, he will make the crooked ways straight. Listen to me. Why, why am I talking about this waiting? The whole reason why the enemy plant the seed was to create a sense of emergency so that the owner should uproot the weed with theirs. So that the real width, which is the crop, will suffer loss. The reason why there are many fall apart around you in life. Friends, living everywhere is not because of them. It's because of you. Listen to me. Sometimes, don't do anything. There is wisdom in doing nothing. Don't fight. There are sons who have abused me. I can deal with them. I have the money. I have the connection. I know how to do it. I can lock them up. But I choose not to go to that path. And I used to tell myself, if I have not got into this height, will anybody abuse a nobody? And the joy I have is that they came out from my loins. Genuine fathers don't destroy their sons. They can be right in their eyes. Moses left me. He's here. I, I'm not. He left me. My house in Ibadan, where I finally live, the properties, he packed them. See, now in the year. Impacker, he tell, he tell me, say, now my dividend for serving you. <laughs> He's here. I love him. I have never seen a spiritual son who has served me like him. That's the truth. When I see all these sons come in and say, we know Papa, they don't know me like him. He packed the property. He carried him father, 18-seater bus. He packed everything, go. And that's what I labored for, for 10 years. So I'll, I'll settle myself. And I will not blame him. How will you be serving a father? Nothing to show. He said, I don't settle myself. <laughs> but the, beauty, the beautiful thing about this young man, if he follows, he follows. If he's turning back, he turns. There are ones that will follow you and they are Berani, Ekwasi, they will be blowing breeze. You know that rat way they chop person. You go to blow breeze, you go to chop you, you go to scratch her until you go dig rich here. Well, you know, no. When he was about to leave, he called me and said, Papa, I pack all your load. I don't go. I've said to myself. But the beautiful thing is that 
He didn't hide it. He's not, he's not, he didn't, like I said, I kept quiet. That is how he understood life. But when, they, when he came back to his senses, he came back. If I had placed cause on him, he would be sitting next to me. Mm. of you will betray me and you will fight me. Hey, they all laugh. They say, hey, Baba, <laughs> you have been getting it right, this one. Now lie. I, there was one prophecy I played. So many sons were sitting all here. And I said, there's going to be a time. My name will be on social media. I will be criticized, attack, scandalized. Some of you sitting here will leave me. <laughs> All of them, some of them stood up and <laughs> now lie. Fire didn't vibrate. That's life. Sorrow, Olua mi sorrow, Baba sorrow. Floor in my praying room. And I said, Lord, there's an exception to this prophecy. You said, the tree will remain solid. God, make me a practical instrument for you. Use me, Lord. Make me a practical instrument for you. Use me, Lord. Lord, make me. Lord, make me a practical 
instrument for you. Use me, Lord. Lord use me, Lord. Lord, make me a prodigal instrument for you. Use me, Lord. Listen to me. I'm rounding up. That thing that God say you will be, because you are a good seed, they can corrupt everything around. The seed will remain. Are you ready to pray? Turn to your neighbor. I'm a good seed. Say it again. I'm a good seed. I'm a good seed. Say it again. Say it again. Three things I need you to do to deal and scatter these enemies. Number one, prayer. Number two, fasting. Number three, the word and seed sacrifice. That's all. Prayer, fasting, applying the word with seed sacrifice. Because you see, if you don't put these components together, let's put it for the word, fasting, prayer, seed. All this is needed and we are applying it today now. Are you ready? Stand up. Mm, life giver. Jehovah, yes. Jehovah, the covenant keeping God. Destiny helper. Destiny helper. Mountain mover. I must 
waiting for. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die by fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
to us. He said, this one, Jesus has redeemed him. And now, hear what they said to me. They laugh. They said, even if your master redeem him, he will run, he will run from the redemptive place to us. We know him. In the dream, I attacked them. Why? They have scorned. They were laughing. And the argument was, we don't even need to fight for him. He will look for us where we are going. And in that dream, he moved out behind me. The forest they entered, he ran and followed them. When I woke up from the revelation, I asked the Lord, what does this mean? The Lord said, demons are not fighting this one. This one is the demon to himself. There are people who come to the place of their favor, who use their leg to go out of their place of favor. It's not demon. Oju kokuru. I need telorun. So, we enter a marriage where God has given them peace. We use their own leg to come out of the marriage. They will beg them, nobody will. Nobody can convert them. Some pastors will leave the church of their assignment and go abroad looking for greener pasture while they are lining, lying down in greener pasture. Put your hands on your head. Say, my father, my father, the honor of this head, the honor of this head, will not destroy his destiny with his own heart. Open your mouth and pray. The honor of this head will not destroy his destiny with his own heart. Let's 
Messiah. Fire. Altar from their fathers. Fire. Marine powers. Fire. Spiritual husband. Fire. Ancestral spirit. Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Holding their star. Fire. Holding their glory. Fire. Holding their destiny. Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Be captured by fire. 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 Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Forces of delay. Fire. Forces of delay. Fire. Forces of delay. Fire. Forces of delay. Fire. What are you waiting for? Fire. What are you waiting for? Fire. Let them begin to run out. 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 Wherever they are. Wherever they are. Let them run out. Let them run out. Wherever they are. What is holding your star? What is holding your glory? Enemy of their destiny. What are you waiting for? 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 Right now. Where can you go? From the presence of God. Wherever they are. Let them be on fire. Let them be on fire. Where can you go? From the presence of God. Let them be on fire. Let them be on fire. Wherever they are. Today, catch 
fight. Cut fight. Whatever is holding my destiny. Today, cut fight. Altar from my father's house. Altar from my father's house. What are you waiting for? Cut fire. Take them out. Wherever they are. Holding my star. Holding my destiny. What are you waiting for? Cut fire. 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 In the house of deliverance. Let the angel of deliverance be restored. Let them move. Angels of deliverance. Wherever they are. Glory, fire, 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 all time, take them out, anyone on the manifestation, wherever they are, altar from my father's house, what are you waiting for, fire, 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 take them out, fire, 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 what is holding my star, what are you waiting for? Fire. What is holding my star? Fire. What are you waiting for? Fire. What is holding my star? Fire. Today, fire. scatter by fire. fire. Scatter by fire. fire. Say, my father, my, my father, father, my father, father. I am tired of this level. Say, say to my story. Say to my story. I am tired of this level. Say to my story. I am tired of this level. Father, I am tired. Say to my story. Say to my story. Change my story. All task from my father. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Shut fire. 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 From my father's house. Fire. What are you waiting for? Fire. Shut fire. 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 From my father's house. What are you waiting for? Catch fight. Catch fight. Catch fight. Catch fight. Catch fight. Fire. 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 From my father has What have you held my life? Let me be scattered by fire. Scattered by fire. From my father has What are you waiting for? Fire. Check this one out. Wherever you are, holding my stuff, holding my glory. What are you waiting for? Fire. 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 Fire, 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 wherever you are, fire, fire. spirit of death, fire, catch fire, fire, catch fire, 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 take a heart, fire, wherever they are, fire, holding my star, fire, holding my glory, fire, wherever you are, fire, catch fire, 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 fire, enough is enough, fire. Enough is enough. Fire. Enough is enough. Fire. Enough is enough. Fire. Evil altar. Fire. Evil altar. Fire. Evil altar. Fire. Evil altar. Fire. Cut fire. 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 Spiritual husband. Fire. Fire. By fire. Take out. Fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Marine power. Fire. Marine power. Fire. Marine power. Fire. Fire. I speak. Fire. The angel of deliverance. Fire. Manifest. Manifest. Take them out. Take her out. Hey! Altars. Fire. Fighting my life. Fire. Altars. Fire. Holding my destiny. Fire. Scatter by fire. 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 fire. Wherever they are. Fire. Take them out. Fire. Who is controlling my stuff? Fire. Who is controlling my stuff? Fire. fire. Who is holding my stuff? Fire. Who is holding my destiny? Fire. Say my father. My father. Anyone holding my destiny? Anyone today, holding my destiny? Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Hey. Altars. 
angels fighting me that say I will not go forward. Scatter by fire. Altars fighting me that say I will not go forward. Wherever you are, put your hand on your head. Say the owner of this head. The owner of this head. You will not be an obstacle. You will not be an obstacle for yourself. For yourself. You will not stop yourself. You will not stop yourself. You will not hinder yourself. You will not hinder yourself. The owner of this head. You will not hinder yourself. I refuse to be carried by the enemy. Say fire. 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 Fire, 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 Temple of the fire, fire. the temple of the anointing, fire. wherever they are, fire. altars, fire. give way, fire. give way, fire. enemy of my destiny, fire. let me be, fire. enemy of my destiny, fire. let me be, fire. enemy of my destiny, fire. check it out, let me be, fire. let me be, fire. enemy of my destiny, fire. let me be, fire. enemy of my destiny, fire. let me be, check it out, enemy of my destiny, fire. Fire. Let let me be. Let me be. Let me be. Let me be. Enemy of my glory. Let me be. Enemy of my glory. Let me be. Take out. Fire. 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 Fire.
Stay with them. Stay with them. <laughs> Divide the screen. Kakataya. <laughs> Please, the two people <laughs> manifesting. Please, have a council. to help those who are watching. You, you destroyed her. Yes, yes. How many of you are inside the body? I destroy. How many of you are inside the body? From which kingdom? From which kingdom? From which kingdom? Speak louder. Which kingdom? I said from which kingdom? From which kingdom? From, from marine kingdom. What have you done to our marital life? Have you done to huh? I just try marriage. Huh? I just try everything. You just try marriage. marriage. I scatter everything. You scatter I, everything. Yes, yes. How I, did you enter her? Ah! How did you enter? Through her mother womb. Uh, Through her mother womb. Through her mother womb. Yes, yes. So from whom you have been following this one? Yes, yes, yes. Fire! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ouch! <laughs> Yo, who are you here? Yo, speak out! What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What? How did you destroy her? 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 How did you destroy her?
Would you destroy her? In what way? In what way? Speak louder. How many of you are inside the body? You say what? You are many. From which kingdom? Today you are going to pack your load. This manifestation is a Fire you. Pack your load out of her. Free. Fire over you. 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 No. Who are you? Why are you disturbing him? Why are you disturbing him? Why are you? Why are you? Speak up. Answer me. Don't waste my time. I am the idol from the father. You say what? I want to destroy him. I don't want him to. You are what? I want to scatter him. Leave me alone. You want to scatter him? Yes, yes, yes. You. What is your name? What is your name? Yes, yes, yes. What is your name? You say what? I am the idol from the father's house. Which idol? What's your name, you idol? What's your name, you idol? What's your name, you idol? You know me. Huh? You know me. I burn you with fire. Answer my question. Fire in that body. Fire in that body. Fire in that body. Fire in that body. Fire in that throat. Fire in that throat. Fire. What else? What else have you done to this family? Huh? What um, else have you done to the family? I have met the father and the mother to have misunderstanding. Uh -huh. Yes, I want to scatter the family. You want Why to scatter the family? Yeah. Leave me alone. Please sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't worry, we come to you. For... What else have you done to, to him? Uh, I have met the father turn his back. You say what? Time. I met the father turn his back every time he complains. Yes, yes. That is what I want. Leave me alone, leave me alone. What else have you done to his destiny? <laughs> this one. What else have you done to his destiny? I want to destroy it. I am huh? I am scattering the destiny. Scatter the destiny. Yes. What have you done to the finance of the family? I tie it down. Huh? I tie it down. You tie them. Why will they prosper? Why will you want to tie on tie it? I will scatter this boy. I will scatter this boy. Pack your load out. Fire! Fire over the one! Fire! Take the hands! Fire! This manifestation is as a result of the raw power of God, which as the oracle of God touches them, liberating them, setting them free from the captives of the enemy. Light and darkness have no part together. At the mention of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. A touch from the oracle of God and the raw manifestation of God is made manifest. Liberation is available. Healing is available. There's a spirit us back. There's a marine spirit. F fire! Fire! What have you done? What have you done? Fire! You can see that. The body. Ka -ka! Fi -ka! Fire! You pack your load out of her free. You what have you done to her? Answer me now, don't waste my time. Fire! What have you done to her? Fire! Anytime she entered my trap, you come and deliver her. Why? You you speaking, who are you? In 2017, she was in my trap. You deliver her. So how many of you are inside the body? Last year, you deliver her. Now, she's already in my nets. This is the raw encounter with the power of God. <laughs> Demons have no hiding place. Today is a deliverance service. So don't be surprised that I'm attending to deliverance issue. What happened to you, mama? Okay. Pack your load out of that one. Free. You. What happened to you? Celebrate Jesus. Speak. I dream. Can you power the my boat for the narrator?
I dream in the night that they are pulling my head. When I was losing... They the were doing what? Pulling my head. Pulling your hair uh, in the night. Yes, sir. So what happened? So when I wake up, I, when I was combing the hair, the hair was removing. The hair was removing? Yes, and it, when I crash it, it will turn to wound. I when you scratch it, it will turn to wound? Yes, sir. It's and it was from dream? Years. Wait, from dream? Yes, sir. You woke up, you start combing the hair, yes. scratching the hair. If I crash, you will turn to It will turn to wound. Yes, sir. That's how you get to where you are. These are witchcraft. They bab your hair in the realm of the spirit. They've taken all your star. Everything about your destiny have been taken away. Oh, no, no. Please Watch go outside there. Go outside. Watch as the oracle of God prophetically locates this woman. And is going to restore our destiny. There is nothing impossible for God. Fire! 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 Look here! Look here! Have you done to her? Powers of darkness have no hiding place. A touch for the oracle of God. This manifestation is as a result of the raw power of God. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Don't worry. Please sit down. Please sit down, sit down. The raw power of God is at work. Please sit down, sit down. And it is atmosphere for deliverance, restoration, liberation. Chains are broken. Destinies are in restored. Powers of darkness have no hiding place. Pack your load. Leave her alone. Free. And a word of declaration from the oracle of God, she is set free and free indeed. Those, listen to me. When you are in a deliverance ministry, don't compare your ministry to another ministry. This is not a ministry where you play mediocrity. You can't be hypocritical and being. Some people, some people tell you that there's nothing like deliverance. I just know that there's demons speaking through them. I don't, I don't care how, how old you say you are in the Lord. When you begin to arrogate spiritual pride, say, we, we don't discuss with demons. Stupidity of the highest order. So if you don't discuss with demons, what Jesus was doing by casting out demons, asking them, who are you? Where did you come from? He was discussing with demons. Hey, we, we don't discuss with them. We don't discuss with demons. We challenge them. And when we challenge them, we ask them to come out. And then how do you know who they are? If you don't ask questions. Say, how, how, how do you dedicate a service for demons? You are talking about the emancipation of people under bondage as a service dedicated for demons. That's why they come to your church. You you preach entertainment motivational sermon and the demons receive coffee and tea and they have executive chair and they go back and get refreshed to fight the soul that sit under your AC freshness. In this place here, we don't give demons air freshener. We fry them. me because now hair freshener now hair see the mother say bring your hand touch me nothing day because see kaka nothing nothing now motivation macaranta all they do now school cramming motivation no revelation not speaking in writings after the whole thing yeah we are students of the world we hold to the world some of them don't understand what is word they think word is cramming Bible and speaking like a motivational preacher. The word is a person. 
And if the people don't encounter the person, they can't see the personality of the person and be impacted personally. You can see the aggression. He sent forth his word and his word. He let, if the word come, it must bring a volcanic eruption in the body. Any word of God you receive that excites you, that does not disrupt something that is negative in you, is an entertainment. All this service dedicated for demons, how can you call a service of emancipating people from demons dedicated to demons? Because somebody's can Sometimes I ask myself, what is the worries of men of God? Now God and they serve have been a devil than they advocate for. I need to ask our senior colleagues here who are lawyers, what, what does it mean to be an advocate for someone? When you're advocating. Because I never understand which, which, which ones are men of God. I don't know whether they advocate for God or for the devil. Don't be angry when we are casting out demons. So why are they casting out demons? No. For maintain them there. You can see the aggression. This is at the power. Enter some ministry as a man of fire, hold the mic. Even the man of God, where he did the altar, he goes, scatter body. He goes, let me leave me! Assistant pastor goes, say, Papa, maintain. I say, leave me alone! It's the same power that I've taught you and you do not feel anything. But you don't know that it has gone to a certain area of your spiritual life to do something. When my heart is overwhelmed you lead me to that is I am not That is I am not When my heart is overwhelmed, you lead me to the rock. That is I am Mighty man in battle, and you are the mighty man in battle. to pray for you. Okay, sir. Kneel down. 
which has the oracle of God. Now you this restores her. Witchcraft no day. To bari jaye, wa maye, wa safaye. Ibenyaye mi majeko da biti solo. Ibenyaye mi majeko da biti solo. Oba. Ibenyaye mi majeko da biti solo. Ibenyaye mi majeko da biti solo. Oba. O bere lord oluwa o pari e sodo satani o bo lorun soro kele o wa da buku soro soro ipeyin aye mi majeko da biti solo oba the song say lord don't let my life end like Saul he started from god but at the end of his life, he went to meet the witch of Edom to consult a dead body. He started with God and ended with witchcraft. What, the oracle of God is about to restore and destiny truth what they have taken away, I restored. <laughs> I break the curse. Amen. Can see her head. This is as a result. It's over. Amen. Go with the mantle. It's over. And as the oracle have said it, so shall it be. La cosa tabaya. I love Jesus. Jesus is mighty. Bring her here. Bring her here. Kay! Kay! You know, what have you done to her? Talk to me now. You alter. What have you done to her? Leave me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you running? What have you done? It's my business. What have you done to her? Sorry, today is a deliverance service. Fire. Evil foundational altars have been destroyed through the raw encounter of the power of God. Fire! 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 You can see the manifestation. Out! And by a word of declaration, it's is free and free indeed. Celebrate mm. Jesus. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Fire over you! Fire over you! Demons, demons, demons can enter anybody. Children are not left out of deliverance. Fire! Fire! Okay. You can see a reaction. And this is a response to the raw power of God. Please, if it's your daughter, I've told you, we are doing any deliverance, come around. There's no film trick here. Is it your daughter? Huh? Please speak louder. Please. Huh? You say what? My daughter, sir. How old is she? Twelve years. Twelve years. Yes, sir. Where's the father? It's here, sir. Baba! Daddy Precious! Who? Daddy Precious! Daddy Precious! Okay. Please. Don't. See. When we are doing deliverance, don't be ashamed. If it's your husband, your wife, come around. It's not a film trick. Come around. Don't be ashamed. They are not winch. It's a spirit. We have arrested through the help of Jesus. They're casting out so that you come in. 
to testify to the goodness of God. Give the Lord a clap offering. Okay. The Spirit is going to leave her right now. She will be delivered Amen. and be free. Amen. <laughs> Out! Free. And just by a word of declaration, she is set free. And free indeed. The raw power of God is his work. <laughs> Fire! Please lower it there. Fire! This is as a result of the spirit inside of her. The powers of darkness cannot withstand the name of Jesus. The powers of darkness cannot withstand the raw manifestation of fire. Fire, fire! Is it your daughter? Huh? Yes, sir. How old is she? Going to eleven years. Going to eleven. <laughs> Free. Indeed. You are free in Jesus' name. Give Go. Free. She's free. Give the Lord a clap of friend. There's nothing impossible for God to do. <laughs> Once I pray for you, let them go quickly. <laughs> free. And that's all. An atmosphere of restoration. Anyone I prayed for, help them. Usher. Bring. Huh? Come here. Leave her alone. What have you done? In what way? Don't touch her. Don't touch her. How many of you are inside the body? <laughs> I see. Huh? We are playing. From which kingdom? Don't touch her. Don't come close. Don't touch her. Leave her alone. Let her be. Let her be. Fire over you. Don't touch Fire over you. Free. Go. And free. Now the oracle of God has set up free. Free. Through the power of God Almighty. Just a touch. Free. Go. And they are free and free indeed. Go. This is what the free. God of Papa Joshua did. <laughs> Have you done to her? No. What else have you done to her? You said it can never manifest. You don't feel inside the body. The destiny's kids can never. Out of her now. You. Fine. Free. You're free. The devil has come to kill to, and to destroy. Go, you're free. The power of God is here to restore. The power of God is here to break every chain, free. every shackles of the darkness. The power of Fire. God is right here. If I love her, what have you done to her? This is your problem. Fire. I just want her to die. You want her to die? Yes. You want her to die? You want her to die? Why? Fire. Fire over you. You spirit of death, pack your load out of her. Free. Moment, oracle of God set her free from the spirit of death. Premature death is not a portion go, anymore. Go, go, <laughs> Can't you just go home? When people preach, they go home. Eh? You want to always put extra. People will preach and they will go home. Eh? No, you want to help Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Say so what? Can't you just preach and go home? If they see them on the advice. Can't you just preach and say, oh, my people, the grace of God. Oh, Jesus, and let them go. Ah! Can't you just uh, tell them that? You say I should share grace. Can't you just tell them that? You say I should what, go home. What, <laughs> yeah, you want to help them? Okay, what do you get? Now, what do you get when you help them? What exactly do you get? Just tell me. Fire! 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 Oh! Okay, I'm Enough. sorry. Enough. I'm really sorry. Oh! Oops! Ah. Advisor. Fire over you! Fire! Ah. Fire for that your mouth. Preach as you hear the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, I jump. <laughs>
He said, I should share grace to go. The power of God <laughs> is ever active to set the captives free. You know, you, you see, you see service, breakfast service. They serve you coffee. Then you take coffee. Two hours service. They are finished service. Say, the Lord is good and his mercy endured forever. You came with two demons. The demon they give back in the service multiply to 16. Because of the coffee they serve them. The AC cool them down. <laughs> that is why pastors like us will be under attack. Leave, let me tell you the truth. 90% of the battle we are having is that when they say we are demons or they demonize us, they are only scaring people from coming here to be delivered. The ones who call us demons should do deliverance like this. They should stand and be casting out demons and not see if they will not be exposed. No, stand. That's when the demon will ask them, by which authority you are standing? They say, by my two hands, the Hanuna, the, cast, the, the, the my Kafa, my Ido. Okay. Pack your load. Out. Free. And this is what the power of God can do. Listen to me. It, it is not even in hearing what the demon wants to Just to identify that this is not the person talking. A demon is speaking. This is a, a spiritual war. God will help us. <laughs> we will so How did you me? How did you detect me? Huh? You say, how did I do what? How did you get me? We have a detective machine here. Oh, what we used to detect me. people with demons. <laughs> oh, oh, the truth is, when I move through the congregation, it's only me that knows what is going on. Oh, don't, 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 don't. I see somebody sitting down calm, but I see him want to run. He might not know why he's wanting to run. She doesn't know why she wants to run. Some of them want to feel like blowing me. I see the motive even before the action. Oh. 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 Oh, don't touch me. Oh, don't touch me, please. Please, don't touch me. Uh. Okay. Oh. Fire. Oh. Fire. Oh. Fire. Oh. Fire. Oh. Fire. Oh. Fire. Out. Oh. Go. Oh. Fire. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Powers holding her. Fire! Let her be free. A supernatural atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God is right here. Nothing wonders. <coughs> Destinies are with this story. <coughs> Breakthroughs are. Fire! <coughs> free. And she Go. is free and free indeed. Give the Lord a clap, clap of you. Celebrate Jesus for their free. 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 Fire. 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 Fire over here. Fire over there. Okay. Go. Free. In Jesus' name. And now, so you might be wondering. Free. Papa is saying, go. Where is he casting them to? Why is he just telling them good? This, this is, why is times? Hundred times. It's when you don't know the authority by which you stand. That's why you begin to call, Jesus, 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 Jesus. One name of Jesus is enough for 10 billion. Even uncountable demons. Before I come here, I've said to where they should go to. I've told them, when I say go, they know where I'm saying they should go to. So I don't need to be saying, go to Butler Speed, go to this. I've already said to where they, every, this is a system already organized spiritually. So when I say go, they know where I'm directing them to. So I don't need to be repeating, go to Butler Speed, eh, go to Abyss, go to Guyana. I don't need that. I've given them direction from before I came. This is what, what we say preparation before manifestation. Don't just come to service and begin to rehearse how to cast that demon in the service. 
Jesus will give you victory. Are you free today? Somebody shout fire. Thank you, Jesus. Free. Jesus. A touch. Supernatural deliverance. Why do you want me to leave you? Answer me. What have you done to her? She's married to you. For how long? How long? Eh? From birth. You see what I'm talking about? A good seed and a bad seed. From birth. Means the day she was born, the demon already has wed her. That's why some of you ladies, you have it. When we say deliverance service, you are looking at people manifesting. You are looking, you say, I'm not going for. I'm not going for. Who won me you for? Who won me you come up from delay? They hold your left, hold your strong. Marry the spirit of and they embrace them. Watch out God is demon. planning to deliver you. Say, now lie. Papa, they come and say, make you not see me. May you not see me, oh, may you not see me, oh. may you not see me. Because if you just come, I know they know when they, I don't know when they talk with you, they talk. God, cover your face, cover your leg, make it pass. If they pray against me, make a pass. You see yourself now. Who is delivering who now? And what day your mind? Then we say you don't want deliverance. So. You say hey, today for deliverance. So. And uh, now, now only today where you can't do deliverance. I can't wear a wig. I know so the wig. Now the wig will come far. See your head. See what you they think. Falling of wig. And God catch you. The wig come far. The only thing you are thinking about in this kind of service, now may weak fall. If the weak fall, you marry. You know better than may the weak stay and you know marry. You marry, you know, say today, now scattered by fire. Why you know so am? When I'm coming, you see them on their neck. Hold their heads in the line. I don't go fall. I don't go fall. I don't go fall. I know what made you fall. I want me you deliver. Oh, is it? We you must not fall. You know, go fall. You know, go fall. You know, go fall. You know, go fall. In Jesus' name, you know, go fall. All you are praying for is weak. The demon is fire. Ownership of her. And the power of God is about to set her free. Huh? Era, is it we do with me? Huh? What is your problem? <laughs> Watch as Fine. Let me be. The demon is claiming ownership of her. Fire over you. Fire. Huh? Oh. Unjao. Oh yeah. Remove your ring. Remove your ring. Remove your ring. Why oh, please, please, please. Now. A spiritual disengagement from. Go and look for spirits like you, not human being. Free. And she is free indeed. This is spiritual authority at work. Spiritual authority at work from the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Iginla. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Sibe olu adara Boti le wu Oriyo Ida mu aye le pa Sibe olu adara Sibe olu adara Boti le wu Oriyo Ida mu aye le pa Ida mu a 
37 days but I want to reverse it I see you in a vehicle where they want to kidnap you just to waste you by taking a part of your body but today because of you are in this service fire 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 fire, fire. I break I break I break I break you spirit of death You want to destroy? Oh, oh, every time she loves to kill everybody, I'll destroy her life. Oh, you want to destroy her life? Oh. Free! You are delivered. No more dead. The essence of having a prophet in the house. A prophet with prophets. <laughs>
right in here. I will not join people in argument of Titan. We are too mature to be doing elementary argument on tested principles. When I leave this earth, I'm a Titan. That's all. It has worked for me, worked for my family, worked for my life, and this ministry is built on those principles. We will not remove ancient landmark under elementary, trivial, emotional calculation of development of new revelation that is confusing to this new order. I declare grace as you tight your doors open for you. New beginning. Change comes for you. I declare you blessed for life. A new thing begins to happen for you. Go and succeed. Thank you, Father. Those of you giving on air, a new beginning have started. You are tithing, you are giving your offering, you are partnering. Changes have started. So shall it be. Go and succeed. In Jesus' name. Just wait, I will pray for you before we pray on the oil and the awning. Hallelujah. All workers, every workers, protocol greeters, media, choir, all departments, men, youth, every one of you, we are going to have a meeting this Saturday, 7 a.m., Let's make sure we are all around. I will be there. And every one of us should come with fasting. Let's give Jesus a clamp of it. All department, every department. This Saturday, we are having prayer and fasting. Early the hours of the morning. It's just going to be a three hours prayer meeting. Women, youth, every other team. Our teachers in Sunday school, every one of you. All departmental leaders, every one of you. Including the deacons. The men, ending of this month, all the men in this auditorium, we are going to be having our meeting the last Saturday of this month, and I'm going to be live and direct, and uh, it's going to be a great meeting with all the men, youth men, youth men, you know what I mean by youth men? A men. Those of you who are already men, but because you are not married, we are calling you youth men. That means you are a man cello. You are not a bachelor. You are a father-law. And then you are grandfather-law. That means you have crossed the age of being a youth. The only thing, the reason we are calling you youth is because you are not married. So we call you youth men. <laughs> and the fathers, every one of you, all men, all pastors, all deacons, the last Friday of this month, we are, Saturday of this month, we are meeting, 
and I'm anointing all the men. It's going to be a prophetic service. Give Jesus a clamp of him. And I think the last Saturday of September, we are having men on fire. It's going to be Friday and Saturday, which is 25th and 26th. Can I see the men jump up and give God some crazy shout? You are going to come with your jeans and um, T-shirt. Papa, T-shirt doesn't used to fit me. I have pot belly. Buy the T-shirt that will fit you. We are going to join hands. Hallelujah. We want to do some workshop and talk shop. Very serious ones. That will transform our life. Keep Jesus a clamp of rain. Next Sunday... We have what we title angelic service. It's called service of angels. It's going to be very hot. You are coming with a white garment, white clothes, white dress. Uh, Papa, I don't have white dress, but I can buy white mantle and cover my head. If you have just, it's a white service. It's going to be a worship service, an enthronement service where you are sitting on my seat and mama's seat. It's going to be an anointing service from the seat i will be pouring oil on your head it's different from this anointing service this one i'm anointing you from the on while you are sitting down it's going to be a worship and praise service and then we're going to bring down heaven down here it's an angelic service when you are coming you come with white handkerchief white clothes papa i don't have white clothes i don't have white it's an angelic service a service where we're just going to roll before him we're going to worship him we bring down glory down it's going to be a powerful one here. A great one. A great one. Uh, it's a service that I want you to encounter the angel that is revealed to you. It's called guardian angel. Every one of you have it. And sometimes people die and never encounter the angel assigned to them. By that service, you will encounter your angel. I thought you were shouting that amen. Shout that amen three times. Shout that amen three times. Those of you who book, please come quickly so that we can do a prayer on the honey and oil. Just want to stop you people from fruitfulness. Eh? But she's blessed through since 2019. Yes, sir. I've been delayed. Yes, sir. Right now you are pregnant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes. On the day of your Wait. birthday. Wait. Wait. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. On the day of your birthday, May. May. Wait, yes. This May. Yes. 
So last month, I missed my period. I took it. I went Wait, on the day of my birthday. Yes. That's when I prayed for you. Yes, you and you have been experiencing delay. Yes, two years you know, plus. Two years plus. Yes, sir. Then you are afraid because as the baby is growing, fibroid is yes, growing. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prophetic okay. confirmation. They are supposed to be twins. But no problem. Don't worry, nothing will do your baby. Amen. You hear me? Amen. I need to see the both of you. Yeah? yeah. The baby is guaranteed. Nothing can stop it. And by a prophet, the Lord see. brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he was preserved. If you are just joining us, this is the live service of Champions Real Assembly, Chikakure Kubwa, Abuja. And this is the atmosphere of deliverance where the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Igenla, prays for the children of God. What is the medical condition? Do you desire impactation? Have you been stagnated? Do you need prayers? I need to see you, eh? To break every delay. There's a strong battle in the family. Yes, sir. Especially when it comes to you people marriage. Yes, sir. There's one of your sister now that is there's a problem in the marriage. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. There's fight, battle. Yes, sir. God wants to do something new. And it has started now. Thank Your struggles are over. Amen. Who is Reuben? Because I'm seeing battles. God is saying to me that what he wants to do in the family, there's fight. Fight. And God wants to bring things that it will even surprise you. Are you hearing me? And the, the set time has come for it. Amen. We are in ministry. Huh? Yes, sir. But things are not just working at all. Yes, sir. The ministry is just in one place. Yes, sir. A new beginning has started uh, now. Jesus. I'll pray for you. Testimony is guaranteed. Amen. Came out from a very big family. Yes, sir. But battle, 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 battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Especially you boys. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. There is struggle. All the five boys. I'm the only one. That's... Five boys, four girls. Yes, sir. Prophetic confirmation. Who is Obina? Uh, the second to the one. I, the second to the uh, to the last. I'm going to pray for you, eh? This is the beginning of a new beginning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Prophetic credibility through the name of Jesus. Restoration is in the house. Are you people together? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, Papa. Why well, you you are not answering? When I say together, you know what I mean by yes, together. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. You are planning to. Yes, Papa. Aurora original. Prophetic eagle eye. The future is bright. Call the numbers on your screen and book for your deliverance. A touch from the oracle of God guarantees restoration, liberation. There is nothing impossible for God to do. Call the numbers. You know your, your problem. Huh? A great woman with great star. Inga. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. A good young lady, your heart is pure, but when you get angry. Yes, sir, you are right. Not that you are aggressive, but for that time that that anger is on you. Yes, sir. You can break anything. Yes, sir. Break your phone. Yes. Do anything. Yes, sir. And immediately you finish, you regret and begin to cry. Yes, sir. You don't mean what you say. You just say them from your lips. Exactly. It has spoiled a lot of opportunities for you. Yes, sir. And, and don't get me wrong. You don't just get angry for stupid reasons. The reasons are genuine, but it's just that you can't... You're yes, one sir. person that you can't stand injustice. So you, you frown at it. You heard the message today. Sometimes, look away. 
Because some of the people who offend you have a part in your destiny. Sometimes you just jam the door at them. And you lose the privilege why God brought you or brought them to you. You are right, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Please, I beg you, eh? Yes, sir. Control your temper. Yes, sir. A prophetic confirmation from the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Igela. Free! Is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. There is nothing impossible for him to do. Call the numbers on your screen, and our counselors will put you through on how to book for your deliverance. Do you desire family liberation? What is the family altar fighting your family? Do you desire impactation? What is the impactation? Free. Locate Champions Real Assembly and let the God of Papa Joshua Igenla grant your heart desires. Redefine your life and restore your life. Do not die in silence. Have faith and let your hearts be opened that the God of Papa Joshua Igenla can restore your destiny. Call the numbers and book for you deliverance. Amen. There's too much there. Yeah? Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy, you are right. I see separation. Yes, daddy. I'm seeing the man you are with. I don't know how to put this. Separated long ago. Long ago. Yes, daddy. I see somebody was lifted up. Like somebody working in a court environment. Yes, daddy, he's a high court judge. He's an high court judge. Yes. Prophetic scanner. And you, you need, you need divine healing because they have released arrow to your body. You are very right, daddy. If That's not for I'm God, here. they would have killed you. That's why I'm here, my father. The Do strong something. spiritual battle. Do something. Watch as the oracle of God release prophetic words, setting the children of God free from shackles of demon, setting them free from bondage. Just a touch. Never underestimate the touch of a prophet. There's a poison. Yes, sir. Ouch! The mighty name of Jesus. Call the names and book for your deliverance. Amen. An email on cityofwondercre at yahoo.com. You can send us a text message on the numbers displayed on your screen. Do you want to meet the miracle huh? of God? Why are you touching me? No, you, you would have not come here for touch. <laughs> and you don't want to be touched. You would have stay, stayed away and not be touched and touched. Ah! Why are you? Who are you? You too. Why are you here? You can see the is manifestation. It, it, not <laughs> Prophet Tipe, I've been hearing about you for Go! Free! And just a word of declaration is, it, is free it, is it, and why, free why indeed. No. A touch of restoration if from God's not, oracle, yeah, yeah. Papa Joshua Igenla. Wherever you are watching us from, this is the life service of Champions Real Assembly. Chika Kore Give Jesus a clap of it. And this is the atmosphere, God's oracle. Pray for pregnant women for safe delivery. Fruitfulness is guaranteed. Do not die in silence. Locate Champions Real Assembly and let the God of Papa Joshua Iginla grant you fruitfulness on all sides. God never fails. He never disappoints. Through his oracle, Papa Joshua Iginla, one touch and your life will never remain the same again. Let your heart be open to receive. Your dreams are very bad. Yes, daddy. Huh? Yes, daddy. You're dreaming. The, the kind of dreams you're dreaming. They are not, they are not good dreams. Oh. Either they are pursuing you 
Father, they want to tear your womb to take out the baby. Yes, daddy. And when you wake up, you are afraid. Then you are always feeling pains around this area. The pains come, go. It's not normal. It's not normal. You can't leave. Yes. Yes. Listen to how she confirms to the prophecy. The pains are so much. Remove your hand. Okay. This is prophetic scanning from the oracle of God. The baby is having your bright color. And it's a girl. Celebrate hey, Jesus. Celebrate it's a girl. Jesus. It's a girl. A prophetic confirmation of the oracle. It's a special child, eh? Thank you, Daddy. There's an angel of song. One of the things that this great child would do is a mouth, mm. everything mouth, mm. songs, Amen. speaking, Amen. communication, <laughs> presentation. A strong child, eh? Thank you, Father. Very strong child. Thank you. Give mm. the Lord a clap of friend. This can only be God. This can only be God. Thank you, Jesus. Your day of delivery, there will be issue about placenta, but don't worry, you are free. Amen. Give Jesus a clap of it. Are you blessed? Are you ready? So we can round up, eh? Media, make sure you keep that prophecy, eh? Because sometimes when we prophesy like that, you think you are just talking, eh? Give Jesus a clamp of it. Are you blessed? Stand up. God has given you victory, sir. Strongly in the midst of too many enemies. Amen. Amen. And Thank you, sir. Kai. It's deep. You are a miracle. Hallelujah. Many are the affliction of the righteous, mm. but the Lord has delivered you from them all. Amen. Amen. If the Lord had not been by you, that is true. you would have been down. That is very true, sir. There are some deeper things. I don't want to talk publicly, mm. but congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. He has given you the victory. Thank you, sir. I will need to see you. Eh? Yes, yes, sir. Give Jesus a clamp of friend. Who is fighting me? Put your hands on your head. The owner of the head, your destiny is already repaired. I, I thought you were shouting that amen. Well, because your destiny is repaired, they can't kill you. God who honors men will honor you. From now on, you will begin to see miracles. Amen. I need to see you, eh? The battles are over. Amen. There's something about your father. Hmm? We need to see you. God is fighting your battle. Somebody shout fire. Anyone fighting you, I put an end. God is bringing speed now. Speed, speed. In the name of Jesus. Carry your oil. Lift it up. Carry your oil. I need to see you, eh? They have scattered everything around you. Yes, sir. True, sir. You are in one position. Yes, sir. God who fights battle will fight your battle. Amen. I need to see you. Amen. On the 27th of September, there's something I need to tell you about that day. Now in public talk, eh? I would love to talk to you. Hear me? Are you carrying the oil? Are you married? Eh? There's some things that have happened. Yes, sir. You kept seeing her in dream. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You've been accused too much. Yes, sir. You've been abused and assaulted. Yes, sir. Come here.
need to talk to you, eh? Because even you, your life also is not safe. Okay, are you with the oil? Please open the oil. Please don't sit down. Speak into the oil. Speak into the oil. I will need to see you, sir. Eh? Yeah? God has won the victory. Amen. Your time of testimony has come. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Yes, sir. Where is your mom? She's in the village. Yes, sir. I need to talk to you about her. Eh? Okay, sir. There is a conspiracy against her spiritually. Yes, sir. A strong one. Yes, sir. So that she can enjoy the fruit of her labor. Yes, sir. It's not yet time. She can't die. Amen. I will need to see you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, are, are you speaking to the oil? I'm not praying on honey now. Oil. Oh, yeah. Oil. Oh, yeah. Speak to the oil. Speak to the oil. Speak to the oil. Speak to the oil. Pray against stubborn pursuer. People pursuing you that have refused to turn their back spiritually. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Come. Come. Everyone fighting you will fall your fall and cry your cry in the name of Jesus. Are you speaking to that oil? Speak to the oil. The oil Say, my you? father, the owner of this oil, today I receive victory. I receive victory. Open your mouth and talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. I receive victory. Talk to the Lord. I receive victory. Open your mouth and talk to God. I receive victory. Talk to God. A prayer section. May the oracle of God praise for children of God. Say, fight my battle, Lord. The oracle Speak of God. to that oil. Releasing prophetic word. Speak to that oil. Setting the captives free through the name of Jesus. Healing the sick. Open your mouth and pray. A prophetic prayer section. To liberate the children of God from evil manipulation. Which has the oracle of God. Praise for the children of God. I am your whole. I am your whole. Feel the day you will come. Jesus, I am your whole. I am your whole. I am your whole. I am your whole. Till the day. Till the day. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Jesus, 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 you are my God for life. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I that oil. That oil carried the blessings of God. That oil carried the blessings of God. From now on, everyone that touches you with evil intention shall scatter by fire. Please drop the
the oil on your head and then pick your honey. Next week Sunday is angelic service. You are coming, you come with white. And if you don't have white, no problem. Found with three white handkerchief. With this oil I've blessed, come with it. Are you ready?